This is KVU News at 530. United in prayer, how Austin churches are remembering those lost in the Charleston church shooting. And feeling the rain's impact, how the recent wet weather has affected our local sports teams. Plus, the manhunt continues for the escaped New York inmates. More on the latest sighting hundreds of miles from the prison and how officials believe the pair traveled so far undetected. Good evening and thank you for joining us here on KVU Tonight. I'm Tina Shively in for Chris Betts. Austinites took today to remember and pray for the victims of the shootings that left nine dead at a South Carolina church on Wednesday. KVU's Jenny Lee reports on tonight's top story. So we're having a bake sale today? Yes. Ida King getting pamphlets ready right before Sunday service. The 73-year-old usher has been part of the Metropolitan African Methodist Episcopal, or AME, church for most of her life. I've been a member of this church, I would say, for 60 years. And instead of concentrating just on singing and worshiping, King says on this day, her heart is full. Sadness and, and, and my heart goes out for the people uh, in the city. King and the packed East Austin Church all remembering and praying after the deadly shootings in Charleston that left nine people dead inside an AME church Wednesday. The nine victims were attending a Bible study when the shooting started. I can't understand that kind of attitude, that kind of hatred. Black, white, young and younger worshipers coming together for everyone involved in the shootings. We are praying for the victims, we're praying for the victim's family, and also we're praying for the shooter. Praying for the shooter after victims' families already forgave the 21-year-old gunman. But you have to forgive him because that is for you to move on. It's not for him, it's for you. Forgiveness is, is a cleansing of the heart and the soul. As for how the shooting has changed her, King says she's not frightened. When I'm in the house of the Lord, I don't have any fear. But you saw what happened in Charleston. I, I know, I know. How do you rectify that in your mind then? I can't. What the 73-year-old does know, that we as a nation have to come together to understand one another before we can move on. In East Austin, Jenny Lee, KVU News. Now the church where that shooting happened in Charleston opened its doors today for a special service. More than 1,200 people came together to pray and worship at the Emanuel AME Church. People laid flowers in the Bible study room, the site of the shooting, and watched the service there on TV screens. Pastors say today was less about sadness and more about love and faith. Bring your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Whether you're praying for yourself or the nine families. Investigators are looking into what they believe was an online manifesto of the suspected shooter, Dylan Roof. Roof is charged with nine counts of murder, and police say he has confessed to those crimes. We'll continue to bring you all the latest developments on the tragedy in Charleston as they happen. Stay tuned to KVU throughout the week for more updates on this story. Heavy rain soaked the Dallas area today and even led to some flooding there. Water from Lake Levon, just northeast of Dallas, covered roads as you see here and even crept into some homes. Emergency officials even asked people to evacuate inside the city. However, the good news is the water did not stay around for too long. It also started to recede by this afternoon. And other, where, other places near Dallas today, a bridge suddenly collapsed, sending a truck into the waters below. It happened today on FM 118 over the South Sulphur River in Hunt County. That's about 55 miles northeast of Dallas. The truck's cab area became submerged in the water, but according to the officials there, no one inside of that truck was hurt. Oh, we could see a dry start to the work week, but first we might see some rain tonight. Let's send it over to KVU meteorologist Lene Meyer now for a look at what we're tracking. Lene. Hey, Tina, thanks. You know, last night we saw this little line of storms move through the area very quickly. Right about this time last night, they were starting to move through Travis County. They moved through in about 45 minutes, produced tons of rain. We've got another scenario like that setting up. Let's go to our max storm radar. I'm going to show you first like, off a couple of the showers and thunderstorms in the area right now, and that's northern Williamson County moving out of the area that could produce a quick quarter inch to half an inch of rain if you get under one. And then we have some cells propping up just to the west of Lakeway and moving due north near Henley as well. Uh, this is what I'm watching, though, for later tonight. It's a, a big cell that's developing 
uh, down towards Corpus Christi and has now made its way close to San Antonio and it's headed this way. In fact, if we go to our hour by hour forecast, I'll put this in motion. And this is when I expect that cell to be in the Travis County, Williamson County, Hayes area moving north. It's going to move quickly, but if you have plans to be outside tonight or later this evening, I do know that we're expecting that cell with thunderstorms to be coming in. So more rain tonight, more thunderstorms. But tomorrow, we start to change things up. We're going to talk about something that feels a little more like summer and a weather pattern we're more used to. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. Tina. All right, about time. Thank you, Lene. Well, this rain is more than just an annoyance for people who spend all of their time outdoors. The wet weather has quite an effect on local sports teams and leagues, but it's not all bad news. KBU's Christy Millward is live at Dell Diamond for us. And Christy, it looks like the teams are still taking the field today. Tina, it's been raining for the past about 15 minutes or so, but if you take a look out here, it actually just stopped. Now, you can see the tarp because I just talked to officials and they say the game is still planned to go on at time and on time and start at 7 o'clock. Now, this rainy weather has been affecting some games this season. The Round Rock Express had zero rainouts in their first eight years. In the next seven years, they had four rainouts, and then just this season, they've already had four games rained out. That's according to Chris Almond. Darez, the general manager of Round Rock Express. He says those weather days can be stressful when they're trying to make that call. We got to kind of take all these factors in. Of course, going back to the safety of our fans and, you know, Memorial Day, we knew that we had bad weather. And the last thing we want is we want, you know, people coming, you know, driving in the weather. So it's a fine line, but we do our best. Despite the weather, Almanderas says their attendance has actually been up this year. He says they've averaged 8,900 people per game this season, up from 8,400 last year. Now, the game is scheduled to start at 7 o'clock, and this is actually the free giveaway tonight for all the kids. They're inviting them to come out on the field and play catch before the game. So, again, that starts at 7 and is scheduled to start on time. Live at Del Diamond, Christy Millward, KBU News. All right, Christy, thank you so much. Seven people are in the hospital tonight after a multi vehicle crash. Collision in West Austin. Austin Travis County EMS says it happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon near Mansfield Dam on FM 620. Five vehicles were involved with a total of nine people. EMS took five of those people to the hospital with potentially serious injuries. DPS is now investigating exactly what caused that crash. And Austin Travis County EMS is also keeping busy with calls about K2. Overnight, three more medical calls came in about the drug. That brings the totals to 267 calls and 295 patients just since May 29th. Last November, more than two dozen people were treated after having bad reactions to K2. And new leads develop in the case of the escaped New York inmates. How far from the prison? Some say the two men may have gone. But first, let's take a live look over Central Texas with one of our tower cameras. You can see some big clouds out there. Lene is going to update us with what's going on in weather when we come back.